So today's video is a little bit different. We're going to have a look at some chickens. This is the first 18 hours or so of my new hens arriving. October in the chicken garden, October 2023. And this is Sunday, our last remaining of our original rescues. And so we have a little surprise. Three little Warren hybrids. Hello, ladies. They're a bit hot. If we're looking at this one, there's a bit of beak fun going on. We'll see how that works. And this one. This one's all right. This one had escaped. Just let them get out. I'll just uh, get out of the way a little bit. We've had an interesting drive, haven't we, ladies? I'm getting out. There's some water here. I'm not going to pick them out, and as you can see, Sandy's in the corner watching what's going on very carefully. I'm getting out. Because even though... Hi. So these are much more confident with people. Hello. Hello than my previous girls, well, than Sand Sandy's uh, original flock. Hello, are you coming to see me? Hello. Hi. Are you getting out? Want me to help you? and seeing what's going on. Straight away digging though. No, oh, I don't know what to do. I've upturned some old dead turf in here. So there's things for them to dig in. And also for Sandy as well from that corner so she can have a dig as well. But I'm going to monitor them for a bit just to see how things go. <laughs> and ordinarily you would not put new chickens in with an existing bird straight away but Sandy's been on her own for quite a while and there's only a couple of daylight more hours of daylight left so we'll watch this hi Sandy I need to think of names for these three but look I'm touching one of my chickens that's not something I've really been able to do before so my welcomers were really scared of me but these Warren hybrids Hi. Ah, 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 ah. Can we stay in? Hang on. Escaping straight away, though. Ah, 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 ah. Escaping straight, straight away. Hello. We're not coming out just yet. We'll come out another day. But you need to get used to where you live first. Hi. We've had a bit of a, about 20 minutes of nastiness. Sunday proving she's the boss. Hello. And then this one here just coming up and standing underneath me. Hi. They're so much more confident than the ones I'm used to. So these are from Lucky Hens in Wigan. And hi. Oh, I'm so excited. Because my chickens that I've previously had have never been this into people, Sandy. Sandy, we know you're there and we can see you. And she's just making sure everyone knows she's the boss. My one concern is she's quite a lot bigger than these other three. Um, but, hello gorgeous. Hello. Um... We shall see, shan't we? Hang on. We shall see what their, what the long term outcome is. We may have to put Sandy in the sin bin. If she keeps her. Oh, there's somebody on my foot. I'm so excited. I cannot express how happy I am to have chickens that like me or that potentially might like me. This is me and this is my chicken. Hi, gorgeous. She doesn't have a name yet, she's got a slight underbike on a beak. But she, I've seen her eating, she's fine. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Hello. 
hello. So, um, it wasn't just me that was rubbish with chicken. <laughs> it was actually, I have actually had really scurdy chickens before. These guys have been here. How long have you been here? Under beak. How long have you been here? 20 minutes. Whoop. And now I've got a shoulder chicken. They're so much smaller and lighter than the Welsomers. If you look, how exciting. Dora the Explorer, already in her coop after half an hour. The thing that I am going to have to do, because these girls are very different to my, um, to Sandy's um, original crew, um, is move all the stuff off there because they will actually use it to walk on, which is what I designed this for. Um, but they couldn't get up there because they're too big and heavy, but these ones are much lighter, these Warrens. So I'm going to tidy up that area in the week so they'll have more space to get away. I might put the cat basket down as well for them to hide in. We'll see. How exciting. I just, I'm just absolutely enthralled with chickens who like me. Um, yeah. Because by the time... Sarah died. We'd had her for three years and she would let me stroke her. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, and yeah, so these ones are really, really chilled out girls, which is really nice. I'm not sure how they'll handle Sandy because she's an absolute head case. But it'll be a lot easier. Handleable chickens will make it a lot easier for um, treating them and that sort of stuff. Hi. Hi, Explorer. Dora the Explorer, that's what I'm calling her, not, not under beak. <laughs> this one here has a, has a slightly more pronounced um, undershot beak. <clears throat> so they'll be easy, easier to tell apart, I think, facially, than the other ones, maybe. I don't know. I'm just in love with the chickens. I'm just so happy. So it's their first night here. Hi. And I think they're probably a bit confused because they're used to having a lot more companions. I've got a little bit of blue on my face still, I apologise. Um, and I'll just, um, hi girls. Hi. Welcome to see me. And usually I wouldn't put new hens in within an existing flock straight away. Um, these girls have all been vaccinated for the same diseases, so that's one reason we don't have to quarantine. Um, but what? another reason, another thing that would normally happen <laughs> is a lot of fighting. Are you a bit sad because you miss all your sisters? And the reason that you don't put them in is there's usually a lot of fighting. Um, and why it's worked out okay here is that Sandy's been on her own on, on, on her own for a couple of days. Hi, gorgeous. Um, and she's also considerably bigger than the new ones, so she would automatically be a lot less nervous of them because they're, they're not a threat to her. Um, and she's lonely, so she's been a lot more accepting of them. We had a bit of grumpiness. I know, darling, it's nearly bedtime. Um, so we shall see how this introduction goes. It is bedtime. I'm making sure to check everyone's gone to bed. And we have a couple of stop outs that I'm going to put in to the coop. We only had one trying to sleep out. So, which is a big improvement on my first night with the previous five. When <laughs> they all tried to sleep on top of the coop. So, good times. Good morning, chickadees. Can we get it up? Chuck, chuck, chuck. I see Sandy's feet. You coming out, Sandy? You're the boss girl. You have to show everybody what to do. Oh, we've got a face at the door. Hi, Sandy. Good morning. You coming out? Oh, 
that trouble. Don't peep people up in there. Come out here. They might be waiting for her because she's boss lady. Are you feeling a bit better today, darling? A bit more reasonable behaviour. Hi. I'm filming this through the wire because these girls, good morning. These girls, um, if I have the door open at all, follow me out, which is really nice. I've got a big to-do list this morning, so we don't want to... Hi. Hi. Oh. What a beautiful way to start the day. Yeah, they're eating the pellets fine. I was worried that they wouldn't eat the pellets. I've got some um, crumble for them, but I seem to be eating the pellets fine. Hi, Sandy, don't. Well, she still wants to show everyone she's the boss. And I might have to get in there if this gets if this carries on. But it's not as nasty as I was worried it would be. Because <clears throat> there's a lot of um, sort of strangeness, really. Hi. The other two are not getting up. Are you getting up, girls? Chuck, chuck, chuck. I'll go and get them some treats. Even if I'm coming. <laughs> and. Hey, girls. <clears throat> Good morning. And you can see the combs are already looking quite healthy compared with some of the rescue hens I've seen. But the combs are still a bit flopped over and pale. Well, they're less pale than they were yesterday. Um, so they're... Hi. Um, and I will say, though, with my Welsomers, these guys, is a massive deal when they're this close. But she doesn't care. <laughs> That water looks a bit green. It's not. It's just the um, the bowl that, that that it's in. Hi, girls. And hello. Coming out, Magrat. Magrat garlic. Dora the explorer. But also um, adorable dear heart. And then this one is cheery little bottom. <laughs> so I've got a bit of a um, Terry Pratchett theme going on. Um, and they're all from different books. Oh, look at them. Hi, girls. 